Rico Live Switcher and Rico Live Multicam are great for directing live events and outputting high quality video, but it's often just as important to remember to record good quality audio. The final tab in Switcher and in Multicam is the Audio tab. Here you'll find audio levels to let you monitor the volume of the output at audio. Try to keep this in the green and yellow region, the audio will distort if it gets too loud. The first level represents the iPad's audio. To view audio levels for the other connected cameras, tap the Show Auxiliary Channels switch. This option is only available in Multicam. When using Switcher to stream live video, the audio will come from the device acting as the video mixer, in this case, the iPad. When using Multicam, however, to record footage, the audio used in the final composition can come from either the Switcher or any of the connected cameras. To choose the audio source, open the Camera tab and tap the microphone next to the appropriate device. Each of the cameras will record audio, but only the selected camera's audio will be used in the final clip. But all of the other audio and the video is saved in case you want to use it in post-production. To access the other clips, hit the Media Library button. On an iPhone, open the menu and choose Recorded Media. You'll find all of the previous recordings with each separate angle and the final composition. The other camera devices must be connected to allow the video to be transferred to create the final composition. By choosing a video, you can play it, delete it, or send it to the camera roll. The microphones and iOS devices are pretty good, but if you require better quality audio, it's possible to record audio from the line in port on the iPad, or one of the connected cameras if that proves to be more convenient. For example, an audio mixer such as this one can be plugged into the iPad. You'll notice that the iPad has a combined earphone and line-in jack, and therefore a cable with a TRRS connector is required. Like this one, this is a 3.5mm or 8th inch jack with three rings beneath the tip, and two female jack connectors on the other end. We'll post more information about this on the website. But basically this splits the iPad's connector into separate line-in and headphone jacks. This particular mixer has 6.3mm or quarter inch jack outputs. The main output has a jack for the left channel and a jack for the right channel. First I need to insert quarter inch jack to phono socket adapters into the outputs. Next, I need a cable with two male RCA phono plugs on one side and a 3.5mm or 8th inch jack on the other side. The phono plugs fit into the adapters in the mixer and the jack goes into one of the inputs on the TRRS splitter. The other spare socket can be used to connect headphones to the iPad. With a mixer connected to the iPad, we have much more freedom when recording audio. For example, I can now use this condenser microphone, which requires phantom power. Some other use cases for Rico Live Switcher and Rico Live Multicam include a vlog style video in which a single mic in front of the subject is suitable. A lavalier mic could be used instead. An interview in which a jack splitter or a mixer can be used to connect two microphones. Or a concert or other live event where the iPad can be connected to the PA system. We hope this helps you to get the best audio possible in your productions, so that you can continue to create great quality content with Rico Live Switcher and Rico Live Multicam. Thanks for watching.